food chain and food web. In our earlier session, we learned that an organism depends on one another in series for feeding. This series of organisms at various biotic levels form as a food chain. Each level or step of the food chain form as a trophic level. There are four trophic levels. The first trophic level is with autotrophs. They are also called as producers and will be available to next level organisms as food. Example, plants. The second trophic level is heterotrophs are also called as consumers. Example, grasshopper. The third trophic level is primary consumers or also called as herbivorous. Example, frog. The fourth trophic level is secondary consumer or also called as carnivorous. Example, snake. The fifth trophic level is tertiary consumer or also called as larger carnivorous. Example, eagle. Thus, interaction among various components of environment involves flow of energy from one component to another. As we learned earlier, the energy from autotrophs is transferred to heterotrophs and to decomposers. Thus, it forms as a food chain. As we learned in our previous chapter, sources of energy, when energy changes from one form to another form, some energy is lost which cannot be used. For example, the green plants on earth capture 1% of energy from sunlight and converts into food energy. When the green plants are eaten by primary consumers, some energy is lost to the environment, some goes into digestion and some in doing work and the rest goes to reproduction and growth. An average 10% of energy from food will be available for next level of consumers. Therefore, 10% of energy is taken as the average amount of organic matter that is reaches the next level of consumers. Since less energy is available for the next level of consumers, food chains generally consist of only 3 or 4 steps. So, little usable energy remains after 4 trophic levels. Generally, each organism is eaten by 2 or more other kinds of organisms which in turn are eaten by several other organisms. Hence, the relationship of food chain are shown as a series of branching lines called a food web. Thus, from the energy flow diagram, we can find the flow of energy is unidirectional. The energy that is captured by the autotrophs does not go back to the solar input and the energy which passes to the herbivores does not come back to the autotrophs.